Hello friends, welcome to Data Science Lovers. In our last video, we learn about the linear space function. In this video, we will learn about the empty function in NumPy library. First of all, we will go through the definition of empty function. Then we will see the syntax. Then we will create the 1D empty array, the 2D empty array, and 3D empty array. Let's start. What is this empty function in NumPy library? The empty function is used to create an array of arbitrary values or you can say random values of the given shape and data type. The shape and data type will be defined by the user without initializing the entries. So this is the simple definition of empty function. Now this is the syntax. How can we use the empty function? We have to use NumPy library, which is denoted by NP as short form. Then we have to use empty function. In this empty function, we have two parameters. The first parameter is shape and the second parameter is D type or data type. These are the two points about empty function. First one is the shape can be given in the form of list or in the form of tuple. And the default data type for this empty function is float. Now, first of all, we will import the NumPy library in this Jupyter Notebook and the syntax is import NumPy as NP. NP is the short form for NumPy library we are using here. When I run this, the command has been successfully executed and the library has been imported in our Jupyter Notebook. Now, first of all, we will create a 1D empty array. So, as per our syntax, first of all, we have to use our NumPy library np then empty function and our first parameter is shape here i am defining the shape as 5 only because we have to create a 1d array so this is a simple syntax to create a 1d empty array we will save this in a variable name a for our reference and when i run this the command has been executed and when i see the output of a then you can see it is a 1D array with five random values, the first values, comma, second value, comma, third, comma, fourth and fifth. All values by default are in plot format. Now, if you want to create an empty array with integer data type, then we can make use of our second parameter, which is D type. So, np dot mpt, our first parameter shape five, and here I can define the data type which is denoted by deep type in short data type equal to int. And again, I will save this in a variable name a. When I run this, the command has been executed. And when I have a look at a, then you can see all the five values are random and all the five values are in integer format now because we have defined the data type as integer here. Similarly, we can define data type as object also. And again, we will use numpy library, the empty function, our shape 5 and our second parameter d type equal to here we have to use object because we have to create an array with object data type. I will save this in a variable a. The command has been executed. When I print a, you can see data type is mentioned as object here and it will always show none 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 okay so whenever we will use data type as object it will show none for each element or against each value in the array and the one thing you can note here is it is a 1d array which is denoted by this single square bracket this one single square bracket denotes that it is a 1d array so that's how we can create a simple 1D empty array. Now second is we have to create a 2D array using empty function. And the syntax will be somehow same as our first syntax np dot empty. Here we have to pass the shape and for shape we need number of rows as well as number of columns. So we will pass either in the form of a tuple or rather in the form of list. The round brackets here define the tuples. 
first of all in the tuple i will pass number of rows as 5 and number of columns as 3 and i will save this in a variable name b for our reference when i print b you can see it is creating an empty array with 5 rows and 3 columns and if you notice here again there are two square brackets in the starting as well as in the end there are two square brackets which denotes that it is a 2d array also if you notice that the value are in float format now 0 0.0, .0 point. if you want to change the data type of this array then again we can use data type parameter np dot mpt first of all i will use my first parameter shape 5 by 3 5 rows 3 columns and second parameter d type equal to int we will save this in variable a sorry variable b and when i run this variable b you can see now there are all values in integer format now means the decimal is not there also it is created a value of 1536 because as per our definition it creates an array of arbitrary values or you can say random values so it can create an array with any value similarly we can create a 2d mpt array with object data type syntax will be same np dot mpt and our shape 5 comma 3 and this time if i pass d type equal to object and again i will save this in a variable b and when i print b then you can see data type is object here now and when i use data type object then it is showing all value as none and there are two square brackets indicating that it is a 2d array so that's how we can create 2d mpt array with float integer and object data type now we will create a 3d mpt array 3d mpt array means there is a matrix number of rows and number of columns so the syntax will be np dot mpt function our first parameter shape and if you notice here that this point shape can be given in the form of list or in the form of tuple okay when we were creating a 2d array we were giving the shape in the form of tuple which is denoted by this round brackets now we will create a 3d array and we will pass the shape in the form of list using the square brackets so first of all i have to pass this shape i will use square brackets and in a 3d array first of all i have to pass number of matrix i am passing two then we have to pass number of rows i am passing five then we have to pass number of columns i am passing three here so this is a simple syntax to create a 3d mpt array okay we will save this in a variable name c and if we print c then you can see it is a 3d array with all values in float format by default as per our definition okay and there are two matrix this is our first matrix and this is our second matrix and in each matrix there are five rows and three columns now we will change the data type here and np dot mpt our shape 2 by 5 by 3 and d type equal to we will create a 3d mpt array with integer data type so i will pass int here which is a short form of for integer and save this in variable name c and when i print c now all values are changed to integer format now okay although it is showing 0 0 0 means it can show random values if i run it again and print c again again it is showing 0 0 0 but when you run it in your notebook then it will show some different values different random values similarly we can create an empty 3d array with object data type the syntax will be almost same np dot mpt our shape 2 by 5 by 3 and d type equal to object
we will save this in a variable name c and when i run this you can see it is a 3d array which is denoted by three square brackets in the starting and three square brackets at the end it is showing the data type as object also and when we are using data type object it will show all values as none so that's how we can create a 3d mpt array with float integer and object data type okay you can refer our notes also the link is given in the description box of this video so that's all for this video we will learn some other function of numpy in our next videos kindly subscribe to our channel and like this video thank you